It's good stuff, man. It's great Back stuff. Kyle, you made it. Lots of lots of lots of learning going on, man. I like cool. the thing about this and why these 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 teachings are so important is we, we are in a crazy market right now. It doesn't matter. Every everybody is hurting right now. Let's be honest. And I'll be honest, it's not going to get any better. And the, the thing that you can do during you okay, Fran? You're like huffing and grunting in the mic. <laughs> Oh, um, sorry. I'll meet myself. My, uh, my new- but the thing is, is that the reason why these lessons are so important and it's really cool for you guys to join in and check these things out is guys, we're in a bear market right now and there is nothing that we can do to uh, stop it. We really can't. And one, it's about just getting your mind right and understanding that what goes down must come up. And when is it going to come up? Not entirely sure. But the big thing is, is that It's staying positive and looking for things that you can leverage your money. And so that's why Fran was talking about the ecosystem is because one of the benefits of being a Marvin holder is Marvin is integrated in these very good ecosystems that give you an ability to earn money just by doing what a lot of people are doing right now. It's just chilling. And the one thing to understand is that no amount of marketing, no amount of technology is going to turn a chart around in this market. And so what you can do is arm yourself with information and come up with a strategy to really push through. And for us, from a project standpoint, one of the things that's really cool for us is that this allows us to keep building. This allows us to be strategic. When we do launches, going on different exchanges right now is not the best time to go on an exchange because it'll have zero positive impact on the project. And if it doesn't have a positive impact on the project, it means that the community can't make any money. And we want to protect your guys' investment as best we can, which is why a lot of our marketing wallet is sitting in stables right now, so that we're not negatively impacted by what's going on. Because had we not smartly allocated that marketing wallet, we'd be down 50% right now. So the marketing wall will be worth half of what it is. And so when, when this market starts to turn around, there's a lot of really cool things that we can do. And one of the things when you're looking to identify a solid project, it's a team that, it's a team that weathers the storm. People look for stable projects, not ones that just pop up out of nowhere. I know Marvin is going to get a reputation of a community that's really super strong one that's very active on social media. Man, I was just at Consensus in Austin meeting with a bunch of people and got complimented down there. Travel all over the United States and got compliments from people about the Marvin community. They're talking about strong communities in crypto. And lo and behold, I didn't even have to bring it up. I didn't even have to bring it up. They're like, the Marvin Inu community is one of the strongest out there. And this is an analytics company, like a social media analytics company is talking about Marvin at a crypto conference. And there are a lot of eyes on this project because meme coins are an easy way for people to invest in crypto. Why? Because it's like putting money on your favorite sports team. You don't have to really understand a whole lot about the team to support the team. And that's really what makes Marvin so cool is when the market picks back up. Because one thing to understand about the market right now is that people are just scared of crypto. You have new investors who haven't experienced anything like this. So with the market downturn, they're freaking out right now. They don't know what to do. Honestly, this was me when I first started investing in crypto. I experienced my first bear market and I thought I was going to be broke forever. And one day feels like an eternity. One month feels like a lifetime. And then the next thing you know, you wake up one morning and it's so starts a bull run. And it's the most seasoned projects that experience the biggest upside in these bull runs. It's just the truth. You look at, I don't know if you guys are familiar, but like Dogecoin came out in 2013, I believe. I mean, I'm pretty sure 2013. And it just chilled for five years. She seemed dead for about a year. And... What happened was, is that the team kept working, the community never gave up, and now it's one of the top ones. And so that's a big thing. That's a huge hallmark of the Marvin community is that we're a community that never gives up. We're a community that never stops working. You you get people that come in here and they they ask all sorts of questions, but you know what? I haven't left. Kakai hasn't left. We would keep working. 
We keep working. Despite what happens, we keep working. And that's what makes this community great. Is there's a lot of people that really care about this project. You have someone like Frank who puts together these educational materials for you guys. Why? Because one, you have to understand Marvin is not the only crypto project out there. And I want to let you guys know that you are more than welcome to invest in other projects outside of Marvin. And we're going to teach you how to identify those good projects because if you diversify your portfolio, it balances things out and it protects you when things go wrong. And so we want the community of Marvin to be some of the most educated crypto investors out there because that's going to be what makes Marvin great. What's going to pump Marvin in the future is that we're going to have a community of people who are very savvy and understand crypto. So no matter, no matter if the market goes up or if the market goes down, the Marvinots are just going to be calm and cool as we continue this journey onto Mars. And so the team's not going to stop working. I know a bunch of them actually just met up in a different part of the world so that they can continue to plan and marketing. You might not see us in the chat every day. I know a lot of you always, like, the daily question is, where is Kyle? It watches the chat every single day. I watch what you guys do, but I talk to the team every single day. I talk to the admins just about every day. They always know what I'm up to. And I can tell you that we haven't stopped working. The, Right now, it's about being methodical. And for those of you who don't know what methodical means, is I'm not going to do things that won't have a positive impact. And right now, there aren't a ton of things that have a positive impact. All we can do right now is be patient. We can be patient. We can be active. We can educate and arm ourselves for when the market turns around. And so these education seminars, these weekly talks that Fran give, are very crucial because this is our way as a team of showing you guys that we care, of teaching you how to be smart investors. If you're going to put your money into crypto, you need to know that there is a smart and reasonable way to do it. And we're going to be the ones to teach you because we want to see you guys win. Your money matters to us. We're not concerned with pumping the chart. What we are concerned with is that this project lasts a long time. Because it's one thing for a chart to go down, but it's even worse if the project is, just goes away. You don't have a chance to win in the long run if a project just stops. And so long as the team is there and continues to work, I can tell you that there's a lot of things that we're working on. We're working on the technology for the play to our metaverse. Yes, you guys keep talking about it, but BitMart is still in play. I have a very good relationship with BitMart. And their exact words are, they didn't want us to just randomly list and then have the market dump. And it's just like I told you guys before, had we listed on BitMart and then the market tanked, we would have been in big trouble. So now we have a huge opportunity that when the market turns around, we can list on BitMart. Contracts are signed, money is paid, we're all good to go. That's, I'm not concerned, like, I'm not concerned at all about the BitMart list. That's, that's good to go. We're waiting for the right time because again, we want that to have a positive impact on our community. We do. And so the NFTs are coming. This downturn has allowed us more of an opportunity to work on the NFTs. Because why would we sell NFTs if people don't have money, right? If you're down on your investment, it doesn't give you the opportunity to invest in NFTs. And if you can't invest in NFTs, well, then nobody wins. So you have to be smart and sensible. And you guys know I work on much, much bigger projects. You know, Marvin is my passion meme project. And I work with tier one venture capital funds. I work with tier one crypto projects. And I can tell you, we are all taking the exact same approach. We are all taking the exact same approach. The directive that I give portfolio companies within the venture capital fund is just be cool, lay the foundation, use this time to write press releases, use this time to write medium articles. And these are all things that like, if you're, if you're sitting at home right now and you're asking, how can I help the Marvin community? You can help by creating content. You can help by writing articles, talking about what you like about the Marvin community, medium articles. You can contribute to helping build the footprint that is Marvin because the more I want you guys to look at it like this is like when the crypto market starts to kick back up, remember people are scared right now. They're scared because the market keeps crashing. 
So what's going to happen is they're going to be cautious, right? They're going to be cautious when the market starts to go up because they're going to be like, I'm nervous. I'm nervous. I don't know what to invest in because I don't want to invest in a project that is going to, to go down or not going to be around. And so what are they going to do? They're going to look for projects that have withstood the test of time. They're going to look for projects that don't spend their money in an irresponsible manner. Because you guys all saw the market, right? You see it right now. You can go on coin market cap and you can see the market. Can you guys imagine what would have happened if we would have spent our entire marketing budget because people just wanted us to spend money on marketing? Could you imagine that? Our project would be dead, right? Because no amount of marketing can stop what happened to Bitcoin. No amount of marketing can stop what happened to Ethereum. No, there's no amount of money. And so the team, now we have a healthy budget. We're not going to spend it now. I'm going to tell you guys that right now. We're not going to spend a ton of money on marketing right now. But what we are going to do is we're going to be patient and we're going to pick our spots and our opportunities so that when the market does turn around, we're going to have a budget to be able to put forth for marketing so that you guys' investment is protected. And so these are just the little things that we can do now. So don't lose hope. Don't lose the faith. If you get, if you give up on Marvin right now, you might as well just give up on crypto as a whole. Cause what's going on right now is not for the weak hearted. I can tell you guys right now that <laughs> it's embarrassing to say, but like my portfolio is down over a million dollars personally. And Marvin is one of the projects that I'm invested in. Let's just, I'll just be quite honest with you. For those of you who are heartbroken right now about what your portfolios look like, I am right there with you. It's not a fun time. It is not a fun time, but that hasn't stopped me from working. That hasn't stopped me from chatting with the Marvin team every day. That hasn't stopped anything. We're going to keep moving forward. We're going to keep moving forward. You guys will hear me say this. You, maybe you've already heard me, but small steps cover great distances. It doesn't need to be big, huge steps, but just little steps every day. You guys rating a Twitter post. You guys put, making new memes, making new content, putting stuff on YouTube, putting stuff on TikTok. The more recognizable Marvin can be, when people are ready to start putting money back into crypto, we're going to be one of the first things that they think of. And that's all we can do right now is everything that we do right now is going to be what can we do to make Marvin one of the first projects people think about when the bear market's done. So... There's three phases of a bear market. We're in the second one right now. So I'm going to tell you guys right now, the whole crypto market is going to get worse before it gets better. I'm here telling you right now, I promise you 100%, the market is going to get worse than it is right now. So be positive. You guys hear me say this all the time. Remember, treat people with love, compassion, and respect, right? Treat people with love, compassion, and respect. Be because be kind because you know what hey like i said i'm down over a million dollars i would really have no time for someone to be mean to me there's no nothing nobody can be more mean to me than what my portfolio says right now and i know there are a lot of you that may not have that much money but you may have a lot of money invested and it means a lot that is down and don't be mean be kind we're all in this together like the reason why i haven't left marvin is because i believe in this community it has nothing to do with the money I have invested in this project. It has everything to do with you guys as the team. I fucking love the team. I fucking love the team. I love the community. I talk about you guys every chance I get. There's, there is just, even though I work on other projects and big projects, I can promise you every single one of those people know about Marvin and they know I'm involved in the project. And they know I love the shit out of you guys. And so this is, there's something special here. There really is. If I didn't think so, I would have been gone. I would have never joined the project. And so you guys are amazing. This community is absolutely incredible. We're going to continue to fight until the very last second. We're going to continue to fight. And times are tough right now, but they're tough for everybody. They are tough for everybody. And the stronger your community is, the easier it's going to be to emerge from the ashes <laughs> once this market starts to recover. Because I promise you it's going to recover. 100% it's going to recover. And I also promise you it's going to get worse before it gets better. And so we just stick together. We stick together because 
Like I've told you guys, this is not the first time that I've been through this. So am I upset that my money is gone? Sure, but it's going to come back. It's going to come back and there's going to be more because every project's going to moon. It's just going to happen. That's how it's going to be. And so the biggest thing is going to be patient. It's going to be showing up to these teachings. Definitely. Frank has got a ton of experience. He's got a lot of knowledge to share with you guys. And he's teaching you ways to protect your money. He's teaching you ways to make more money. And it should be pretty obvious that we put Marvin in a position to win. We want Marvin to win at all times. And you know what? I've said it before and I'll say it again. Sometimes the decisions that I make might not be the most popular. But that's okay. I'm not here to I'm not here to win any popularity contests. You all know that. I'm not here to be the most popular one, but I am the one who takes it very personally that you got that we create that we put Marvin in a position to win. And so might not always be the sexiest decisions, but I trust me, every decision that this team makes is with you guys in mind. So that's all I've got. I didn't, I really, honestly, I didn't even plan on talking. I really didn't. I heard, so uh, you guys don't know this, but Frank and I are actually best friends in real life and he came to visit me. So I was listening to this like awesome chat. He's, he's downstairs, I'm upstairs in my office. And I'm like, what the hell is he talking about? I forgot, I had a meeting. And so I, then I jumped in for the last half and I was like, you know what? I'll say, I'll say, hey, because it's been a minute, but I just want to let you all know is keep the positivity. We are working hard. We are working very hard behind the scenes. And I do watch this chat every single day. So for those of you who are always asking where I am, I'm literally reading your message as I say that, as you're typing that. I just choose not to say anything. I hope you guys are having an amazing day, evening, whatever time it is. But keep the faith, Marvinants. This Mars mission isn't over. I hope you guys realize that. This Mars mission is not over. This is what they call turbulence. This ride might have just gotten a little bumpy, but don't worry. We've been on this ride before. So, Frank, this is your show. This is your party. I'll let you wrap it up how you want, but I'm out. Well, thanks for jumping in, Kyle. Yeah, for those asking who's talking over me earlier, I think that might have been Kyle you were hearing on one of his meetings, but... Appreciate uh, you jumping in and sharing your words of wisdom as always. Kyle's doing some awesome things, some crazy things. I'm lucky enough to get to see some of that stuff firsthand as we go. And y'all are in such good hands with this team, with all the connections and all the knowledge that Kyle has. Kakai has the rest of them. We're here to stay. We're going to send Marvin to Mars. Whoever wants to come along for the ride, get wealthy in the process. We'd love to have you. And I'll leave it at that for this week, and we'll see you next Sunday. Hey, guys. Thank you.